hello students so in today's lecture we will see that uh, how the uh, uh, the evolution of the intel x86 architecture and uh, how the computing system starts to develop basically a company intel provides a, a very good uh, uh, exponential output uh, for the uh, computing system and uh, for the computing system it, they provide the multi microprocessors in uh, till now uh, they provide a very efficient microprocessors and uh, so it is important that they to understand that how the technology develops and how to the things develops uh, on the base of the microprocessors and because intel exit intel company uh, is a very good market uh, has a very good market for the for its uh, microcontrollers and microprocessors so we will learn that of how the microprocessor of intel uh, captured the market and uh, how the uh, uh, processors of the uh, intels Um, keep uh, provide us, us uh, the more efficient computing systems in the last uh, uh, in the history of the computers computers so let's see that uh, the it is worthwhile to list uh, uh, some of the highlights of the evolution of the intel product line so one is the 8080 the world's first generation purpose uh, first general purpose microprocessor this was 8 bit machine and this uh, and with an 8 bit data path to the memory 8080 was uh, used in the first personal computer the altair okay next is 8086 a far more powerful 16 bit ma machine so uh, this was uh, in addition to a wider data path and uh, larger registers the 8086 has supported an instruction cache or queue that prefetches a few instructions before they are executed a variant of the processor 8088 was uh, uh, used in ibm's first personal computer securing the success of the intel the 8086 is the first appearance of the x86 architecture 8286 this extension of the 86 uh, 8086 enabled addressing a 16 megabyte of the memory instead of the 1 megabyte and 8386 so we have 16 megabyte of the memory in this case so in 8286 but 8286 was not popularly popularly used but 8386 was popularly used and it was a 32 bit machine and uh, major overall of the project of the product and uh, with 30 bit to bit architecture 8386 uh, rivals the complexity and the powerful microcomputers and mainframes introducing just a few few years earlier this was uh, the first intel micro uh, processor to support uh, support multitasking meaning it could run multiple programs at the same time so 8046 uh, introduced to the use of the uh, much more sophisticated and powerful cache memory technology so cache technology was not introduced in the 8086 it was introduced in introduced in the 4086 486 basically cache memory is a very uh, very near to the cpu and is used in, in used and is used for the uh, enabling the po uh, powerful speed uh, to the pro to the cpu okay so it provides very good uh, um, uh, speed to the cpu so and uh, uh, sophisticated instruction pipelines so pipeline is also introduced in for 86 pipelines was one was were not introduced in the la, in the earlier versions of the of the intel microprocessors and the pentium 8486 was uh, also offered to a, a built in math math coprocessor offloading complex math operations from the cpu so pentium is another processor and uh, was uh, and man, many students know about the pentium because pentium was uh, uh, one of the processor which was generally used uh, by many persons uh, in the last decade also Uh, so intel introduced the use of the super scalar techniques and uh, which was which also which allows a uh, multiple instructions to execute in parallel pentium pro continued the, to the move of the super scalar organization began with the pentium and the aggressive use of the registers renaming branch in prediction and uh, dot flow analysis and uh, spec speculative execution pentium 2 the incorporated intel mmx technology which is uh, which is designed and uh, especially to process the video audio and graphics data 
before Pentium 2 the graphic data was you not used too much and uh, for that purpose we have to use a separate processor but in Pentium 2 for there is a uh, there the uh, MMX technology come in the picture and uh, multimedia cross technology it is uh, the full form of this uh, multimedia cross technology and uh, this was used for the video audio and the graphics data efficiency efficiently and Pentium 3 is uh, incorporated additional floating point instruction to the support of the 3D graphics so 3D graphics was introduced by the Pentium 3 processors and Pentium 4 The Pentium 4 includes additional floating point and uh, other enhancement for multimedia. The core, this uh, core microcontrollers and microprocessors come in the picture after Pentium 4 and then core were used. And this is the Intel uh, Intel x86 microprocessor with a dual core, referring to the implementing of uh, two processors on a single chip. So now, um, till now, till, till the Pentium 4 only single processor were used. But in core processors, uh, two uh, two uh, dual core, dual uh, core um, or dual CPU were used on a single IC. In core two, the extends of the architecture to the 64 bits, and the core two quad core provides a pro four processor on a single chip. So the x86 provides an excellent in in illustration of the advances in the computer hardware from since 30 years. In 1978, the 8086. In 1986 was introduced with a clock speed of 5 MHz and had 29,000 transistors. A quad core Intel Core 2 introduced in 2008 operates at 3 GHz and a speed of a factor of the 600 and has 820 million transistors, about 28,000 times as many as the as the 8086. So you can find that there is a very uh, the uh, technology is speeds up at, at very fast rate and it you can see that uh, how many how many we have uh, uh, many 8 20 million transistors and now these days uh, about a billion of the transistors on a single chip we can have on a single processor so you can see that uh, we can uh, by you uh, by checking the intel x86 architectures we can see that uh, uh, the technology is speed up speeds up uh, very fastly in the last 30 years so it's enough for this slide and our part uh, unit 1 part 1 has been finished in this in this uh, uh, lecture